Hello, esteemed subscribers, friends, colleagues, perchance enemies. <laughs> Welcome back. In today's episode of The Beauty Saga, I'm gonna go through my trash. I'm gonna go through this monstrous box of empties, okay? I'm gonna tell you, these are my final thoughts. I mean, you've used these products up. These are final reviews, final say on some of this stuff. I'm gonna tell you what's awesome, what you need, what you don't need, what's a hard, hard pass. We got a grab bag in here. And I figured it was just, it was good, it's good symbolically. It's like, we're gonna part with the old, we're gonna let the new in, we're gonna start the year with a clean slate. So if that sounds like something that you would like to see, just please keep watching. Please let me know down in the comment section, what is your new year's resolution, but also what is your favorite product that you used in 2022? I wanna know. New year's resolution, fave product. I don't 100% know my new year's resolution yet, even though we're like, how many days into the new year? I'm on the struggle bus with that. I have an idea what it's gonna be and it's pretty cheesy, so I'll save it for a, <laughs> a get ready a chatty video where we can really uh, discuss what is wrong with me. Uh, <laughs> I heard earlier today that like glowy skin, like dewy skin is on the way out. I'm just not gonna get that memo for 2023. I'm just gonna randomly start grabbing things out of the bag in no particular order. <laughs> I have a couple of the L'Oreal 8 Second Wonder Waters. I love these. I have one in my shower, a backup already repurchased. This stuff, like I will say be careful because it is like warming. What it does is like you apply it directly, like you have it, like your hair's wet, you're in the shower, you apply it directly to your hair after shampooing and you like scrunch it in and it does warm, so beware. And it's like, it just, you can feel it like, I guess the science behind it is that like lamelles are like adhering to the broken parts of your hair strand, but you can like feel it like warming and it's just like healing your hair. And like you get out of the shower and you have the glossiest, most like silky, shiny, beautiful hair and with like continued use i've noticed less breakage over time available at the drugstore so good i have a couple travel size of the living proof like original dry shampoo this isn't the new one that they've released this is like their og meh i mean it's dry shampoo i would never pay that much for this though <laughs> for what you're actually getting and it doesn't smell that great either. So that's like, no, I would not repurchase. The ones that I love from the drugstore, like a lot better, that are a lot like more worth the money and cheaper. Uh, my favorite is the Hask Coconut one. This dry shampoo like really soaks up the oil and like it does leave a white cast. You do have to like either like zhuzh or brush it out for sure, but like smells like coconuts it totally like refreshes your hair it's like texturized voluminous like everything you want in a dry shampoo and it's way cheaper and better than that living proof and I also have like one of these Batiste um, I actually repurchased this one already because I love the pink pineapple scent on it Batiste is like the classic OG I don't think I need to go on too much about it, but yeah, it does leave a white cast. Again, you have to like get that out of your hair, but like, oh, it just cleans, refreshes. It's so good. I would recommend the Hask and I would recommend the Batiste over like the expensive Sephora brand dry shampoos every time. My lights are like making it very hard to see these products, but this is a big mama, like jumbo size of the Garnier Micellar Water. I like the original pink cap one. I use it for everything. You can take off makeup with it. You can take off like, especially if you have like a matte liquid lipstick that's like really hard to get off. This is the stuff. I use it for like those quick resets after working out. It's just, yes, I already have another one. I'm already halfway through it. Like I, this is, will be a staple in every empties I ever do. Um, there's a lot more expensive ones on the market and I honestly just think this one is the best. I mean, I've tried the other ones and like it doesn't leave a residue, doesn't dry out your skin. 
is perfect. I am kind of trying to grab all like the items that are alike so I can talk about them together, but eventually this is gonna break down. <laughs> Bear with me. So I have some empty face washes. The Pacifica Seafoam. This is my favorite, favorite, arguably my favorite cleanser of all time, but like definitely from the drugstore. You can't beat it. It smells like a spa. It gets every like little bit of makeup off, but it doesn't strip your skin. It's amazing. I think I have like a bottle of this in every single empties I do. This is ridiculous. I love it. If you're looking for a new cleanser at the drugstore, this was it. This is it. Like do it. I did kind of try some more like luxe ones from Sephora that I really love and ended up repurchasing both. So this first one is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach. I love this one, especially after I've worn like a full face of makeup. I've done my first cleanse and I got like all that like oil or like balm. This helps get like every little bit off so I don't get acne from it. It just makes your skin feel really clean. It's super sudsy. It smells nice. It smells like herbally. I love it. And then I had a sample size of the Tatcha, the rice wash. I do have a full size that I'm like blowing through. Um, I prefer this one like as a morning cleanser. It's very like, um, what would be the right word? Like it's very emollient. So it doesn't strip your skin, but it definitely will get off if you had like a heavy like amount of sleeping creams on. You're like sleeping in all your oils and you wake up and you want to get that off, but not strip your skin. Um, and the reason it's called the rice wash is there are like little bits of granules in it, but like it just, oh, it's like a silky soft cream cleanser with just a little bit of exfoliation and it leaves your skin like so soft after. I love this. And if I didn't mention, I repurchased all three cleansers. They're amazing. This is Pacifica's uh, Acne Warrior Astringent. So it's like um, a salicylic, like uh, astringent that has witch hazel, cucumber, niacinamide. I love this. I love this. Um, I really target it like on my nose and my chin and like any places that I get blackheads especially it clears them up. You just need to put a little bit on a cotton round and just like dab it on especially in the summer. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you I don't wear SPF as much as I should and when I start to like all summer long I get really bad like clogged skin and I hate it and that's part of why I'm bad about SPF and I know I know I know I should not admit that in this video like I can already hear Kate calling me and like yelling at me <laughs> I do not actually have one of these I need to pick this up because like I will need this like come the warmer months it's it's the perfect solution for blackheads Pacifica is like the best skincare brand at the drugstore. I'm telling you, they're so good. I finished a tub of Clinique's Take Off the Day. I always, always have this. It's it's like the OG. It's like the balm, you rub in your fingers, get it, it becomes an oil, it breaks down everything, it gets off like every little bit of waterproof, everything. It's so good, it's like, it's like, it's the OG, man. It's the original. You set the standard. You've done so well. Yes, so I have repurchased this. I also have like the Pharmacy Daily Greens one. I really like that one too. This one's cool though, because a lot of times you can get it on like mega sale. Like it, it goes for like the Ulta like half off sales and like, it's so good. Clinique always does gift with purchase. And so you can pick one of these up, get like a whole bag of goodies. It's, that's one of the things I love about Clinique is like actually look at your Clinique counter or Clinique Online does like the gifts too. I'm not even sure I want to talk about this right now. Like this is the uh, Sunday Riley pink drink. <sighs> this is so expensive. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's a it's a firming resurfacing essence. It says it has like peptides, fermented honey, botanicals. And so basically what you do is after you've cleansed, but before you do anything else, before you do serums, before you do anything, you just like spray this on. I noticed such a difference with my skin like instantly. I have repurchased it. 
I'm ashamed. It's so expensive. I have to find something that is like not as expensive per ounce that does the same thing. Like I have to find a dupe. I cannot aff financially afford you, but it's amazing. So if you're curious about it, it's worth every penny, but oh my God. Uh, uh. A lot of skincare in here, man. I think 2022 was like the year of me, like really taking care of my skin. Uh, so Kiehl's, I have the Daily Reviving Concentrate, which is kind of like the daytime. And then this is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which is like the nighttime. I, I'm gonna talk about these individually because like, I feel like, I feel like I like one more than the other. And they usually like, they tell you to get them together. So I think I like the Daily Reviving Concentrate better. It smells like oranges, which, you know, the fragrance in here, probably not the greatest for your skin, but oh man. Um, it says it fights skin fatigue. I don't know what it actually claims to. Here's what it does for me personally. I add a drop of it into my moisturizer and wear it during the day. And it really like locks in the moisture keeps my skin like smooth. It doesn't break me out. It's one of the few oils that I can use like consistently because when I realized these were close to expiring, I was like, I'm using these every day. I'm getting every penny's worth <laughs> out of these. And so like I would consider rebuying the Daily Reviving Concentrate in the future, but I have other like daytime oils that I gotta work through before that would ever happen. Yeah, it did It did really good things for like keeping moisture into my skin, keeping my skin glowy, healthy, but not breaking me out. That's such a delicate balance with acne prone skin. I'm not as in love with the Midnight Recovery. Um, it's nice, like it definitely has like a very like lavendery sort of botanical, again, I associate it with the scent of night time because I would do my skincare and like, pat a couple drops in at night. Um, it did, like, it definitely does, like, moisturize your skin, locks in skin. Um, I did have a problem more with this one, like, causing me to break out. I had to be very careful, like, one drop too much and we got, like, an acne situation. So I had to be much more delicate, like, using this one up. And I just don't, I don't see myself repurchasing it. I can't be that delicate all the time. Yeah, I mean, I'm like trying to read like what this claims it does and it says it vis visibly reduces fines lines. I didn't notice that. Boost radiance, yeah, definitely. I definitely did notice my skin was just like glowier. Smooth and firm skin appearance. I'm not sure that it, this has like all this anti-aging properties. Like it's talking about loss of collagen, fine lines, wrinkles. I'm not sure. Reduces the appearance of dark spots? Absolutely not. Okay, so it was like, it was definitely lightweight. Yeah, skin soft and supple and hydrated, yes. But like all the anti-aging claims that go along with this one, I'm not, nah, no, no. I used up a whole bottle and I was using it consistently like every night and I'm telling you, no. <laughs> False advertising. Okay, so speaking of bougie skincare that I've gotten myself into and can't get out of. <laughs> okay, so drunk elephants, retinol. Um, 2022 was the year. I used retinols before, but never, never like this. I mean, this is like a 1% like straight retinol to the face. Um, I noticed all the benefits with retinol in terms of like wrinkle reduction, texture, less acne, like everything that they claim retinol does, it does. Um, I love Drunk Elephant's retinol. It's really like gently formulated. It does have like all these extra moisturizing ingredients in it. But oh my God, it's so expensive. Like why did I get myself hooked on it? And yes, I've repurchased. But to add insult to injury, I got the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. Mine's actually really funny. Like, look at how I like broke it. Cause I opened, I got into this thing and like opened it. I was like, I'm getting every last like little bit of it, like scraping at it. It's got, they claim six African oils in it and ceramides. This is like just the most hydrating, delicious drink for your skin. And so I, I tend to layer these. Um, I don't use retinol every night. My skin can't, my skin can't tolerate that yet. I ain't there yet. But I do like put the retinol cream down on my skin first and then I slather it in the Lala. And like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, 
Whose skin is that? Oh, these products are so expensive, but they are so effective. And like, I'm a drunk elephant believer. I've been converted. <laughs> Jeez, how many of these do I have? Okay, apparently four. <laughs> so these are Pacifica's underarm deodorizing wipes. And you're like, what is that? Okay, so um, even before I switched to natural deodorant, which happened like last fall, so it's been like a little bit over a year, just about a year, I think it was last winter, just about a year, um, I was using these before then anyway, and I've spoken about them before on my channel. These have an enzyme, it, so they're more than just like rubbing like a baby wipe under your arm, which, you know, you, you look at this, you think, well, oh, there's gotta be a better way to do it, but this has like an enzyme that actually like breaks down that bacteria that's like causing the odor. And so if you like get home from work and you're supposed to like go out to dinner and you don't have time to jump in the shower, like you just like bloop these on underneath your arms and uh, reset with some fresh deodorant and you're like good to go the rest of the night. Um, I love these. I have like, I will forever repurchase these. Okay, so I have two of these like starter kits from Grande Lash. Um, I bought these, however, to test Grande Brow and Grande Lash. Uh, Grande Brow, wow! Like, have you guys ever seen my brows this thick? I just put like a little bit of like brow gel in, like a little bit of a colored mascara, that's it. There's no pencil. What? Okay, so like it takes forever. Like you think this stuff isn't working, you like use it for like three months, you're like this is such a waste of money, and then all of a sudden you're like, Whoa, my eyelashes. Um, I went through a really bad phase. The year started off terribly and then it just progressively went downhill. The summer was horrible. This fall was particularly heinous. And anyway, what I was going to get at and what I was trying to say without diving too much into nonsense and like tirading was that I kind of fell off the wagon with these and these are a thing that you need to continually use so uh the grande brow my eyebrows stayed really really thick and like luxe and like amazing and like i'm so grateful for that however when i stopped using the grande lash um i did notice that eventually like my lashes went back to the way that they were normally but that being said this stuff actually works I had at one point like the most voluminous like thickest luscious beautiful like noticeably longer noticeably thicker I still think I do I've restarted using them recently I got like another holiday set and I'm actually like using full sizes and like I'm a believer <laughs> I'm a believer I, I do feel like my eyelashes look better than they did but like they they were amazing and then I fell off the wagon using them that's the thing with these is you have to stay consistent or you will lose all results which sucks because then you're forever like forever buying the stuff and it's not cheap but it works a hundred percent oh yeah <laughs> this this was the um like birthday gift from Sephora last year and this was like my gateway drug into everything Sol de Janeiro. Like I pretty much own everything from them now. They, oh, these creams are amazing. So I love the Boom Boom cream scent especially. Oh, it just smells like caramel crack cocaine. Like, oh, slather me in it. Um, this one is like has a firming ingredient. It's like that's why it's called the I think it's boom boom is technically how you're supposed to say it, but you are like, you know, supposed to apply it to those areas, firm that stuff up. Um, it definitely has a more firming quality to it. Did buy a full size, hundred percent got suckered into that. Uh shock favorite is the Coco Cabana cream. Mm, this one smells lovely too. It smells like coconut, but it also just kind of smells like sunscreen and summer and happiness. And like, this is the scent of good vibes. Mmm, love it. But this cream is so moisturizing. This has like the most like whipped delicious. And like, oh man, the moisture. It like moisturizes your skin and then like you can shower it off and it's still, you still feel like that plush like beautiful feeling it like stays in your skin like you stay hydrated 
Man, Sol de Janeiro stuff is expensive, but it is lovely. And these two are my little gateway drugs. <laughs> my little gateway drugs. And I'm hooked. Good job, Sephora. You did it. <laughs> Speaking of things that I fell off the wagon with, but are super actually do work if you're consistent. Um, this is the Kerastase. What is it actually called? It's the Initialist line. I think it's Advanced Scalp and Hair Concentrate. Um, I love this stuff. Again, I fell off the wagon using it, and so I kind of lost all benefit that I had gotten from using it, which sucks, but I'm back to using it. I know that those results will come back. Especially right here, like where I got like the little baby hairs that are like balding back. It really does help with like hair loss and hair growth and hair thickness. And you put it in freshly washed hair. It doesn't make your hair greasy. It doesn't weigh it down. It does, it's not heavy. It's like it's so lovely and lightweight. It doesn't make your hair oilier. Like it's the, oh, it's the perf. It's perfection. It's such a well formulated product. And I'm I'm glad I'm back to using it. I'm back. I'm glad I'm back to like taking care of myself because I. Ooh, some more Tatcha products. Okay, so I love me some Tatcha. It's overpriced. I'll be the first to admit it, but oh man, is this stuff like luxury. So. Let's talk about one at a time for it so I don't get like all like confused. So Tatcha's The Water Cream. This is supposed to be like a daytime, lightweight, for oily skin, helps with like skin texture apparently over time. It's lovely. It's the perfect amount of hydrating. It makes your skin feel a little bit silky. It's like the perfect under makeup sort of uh, lotion. Oh, and it smells just like light, like I don't know what that scent is but it smells like like just like a spa like a light crisp spa but it's very light um 100% got suckered into buying the full size which I'm like knocking my way through the dewy skin cream so I thought this was gonna be too heavy for my skin but like I've been pleasantly surprised um again just like a lovely light scent I can't wear it during the day it is definitely like a nighttime moisturizer for me but it just makes your skin so hydrated and like juicy and plump and beautiful the next day like I love it I definitely bought a full size of the dewy skin cream I'm not gonna lie I got suckered in now here's another story this is a hard pass for me this is the indigo overnight repair something in this gives me like really bad whiteheads and it doesn't matter like how little I use. It doesn't matter if I use it completely on its own, like not putting anything, any serum under it, nothing. It breaks me out. I tried it every single way. It's, it's too, uh, it's so sad. I have like a pretty decent sample. Um, I had to stop using it. It just, it, it just breaks me out. That's the end of that story. Oh yeah, youth to the people. So this is a little one of their like adaptogen moisturizer um yeah so this has ashwagandha i'm gonna mispronounce that and reishi and pentapeptides um it says apply day or night i can only use this at night it's too thick to use during the day but oh my gosh my skin like loves it especially if my skin is like irritated this is so like calming it reduces redness it's hydrating I bought the full size. It's luxe. I love it. I'm, oh, it smells pretty nice too. I'm a big youth to the people fan. Like Tatcha and youth to the people and drunk elephant, all these skincare brands that got me hooked. <laughs> so I do have a full size of this that I am like working through. Can only use it at night though. A serum that is more affordable and also really, really good. Uh, I've spoken about this before. This is the Pacifica Water Bounce Booster Serum. It has like peptides, kelp, this is so moisturizing and like lovely to it does like a lot of the same things where it just adds that extra little pinch of hydration to your skin then you lock it in with a moisturizer i love this i do not actually have a bottle of this right now probably because i've been trying so many other things but i would definitely go back to this it's worth every penny drugstore again and like look at this glass like luxe bottle it's so fancy looking and like so nice. Splayed out on your vanity. I'm a huge Pacifica fan. Like I think that they do affordable skincare 
so well. Went through a big, big mama size of the Clinique repair wear. So this is a wrinkle correcting eye cream. It's supposed to have retinol in it. Uh, builds natural elastin to visibly reduce wrinkles, helps repair UV damage and improve texture. I really like this stuff. Like I've had Clinique consultants tell me I'm too young to use it and I'm like, fight me, okay? I wanna look like the fountain of youth forever, okay? I love this one. This is a eye cream that I have repurchased since my 20s. I, I like literally started using this in college. I do, it's like, it's a lovely texture. It goes right on like under your eyes. It like has a little bit of like mica pigment. So like instantly brightens and like, I do really think it does help with wrinkles. I'm, yep, always in rotation, always. <laughs> I use a different one during the day. This is like exclusively a nighttime uh, eye cream for me, but always forever in rotation. I will never ever abandon you. Clinique has so, so many like good products that are like staples to me. All the last couple of things we have to talk about are all makeup, hooray! Um, so I was like scraping the sides of this e.l.f. camo concealer. This is the original one, love it, love it. Best drugstore concealer. Um, I wear tan walnut which is a really weird, but it's like the perfect shade for me. I haven't worn this in a while because I've been testing some other concealers and like looking at this tube, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. I go hard for this. It like perfectly smooths the under eye. It sets itself. You don't have to put powder if you don't want to. You can build it up to full glam. You can kind of sheer it out and wear it lighter under the eyes. It's just like, I, you're perfect. Baby, you're perfect and you're $6. You're perfect. <laughs> the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous, the burgundy. I love this. I love this. It defines your eyelashes. It's just a little pop of color. It's so subtle though that it basically just makes my eyes look a little bit more green, a little bit more honey, a little bit more beautiful. People don't even, they're not like, oh my God, you're wearing colored mascara. Like it's very subtle. It's well executed. It's $6, you can't beat it. I forever will repurchase this. This is like, this is, mm, I could go on and on. I love it. It's like the perfect amount of like volume, length, just like subtle daytime wear definition. The voluminous carbon black, I didn't love as much. The burgundy is amazing, but this carbon black was like underwhelming. I felt like it really wasn't adding that same amount of volume and I definitely wasn't getting as much length or separation. And it just like, it didn't hold the curl as well. I don't know if like the voluminous, like regular black would be better. And there's something about the carbon formulation that's a little weird. Um, but I honestly didn't like this mascara. I would not repurchase it but the burgundy is amazing. So who knows? I finished, I believe this is L'Oreal. Yeah, L'Oreal's Bambi Eye Mascara. Um, this was like a, a good like daytime mascara. It definitely was like, would like separate and kind of fan out your lashes, but it, it didn't provide any drama. I don't know where they got Bambi Eye. It, did, it definitely didn't give a Bambi Eye vibe. I would not repurchase this, I was a little, it was okay. I used it. Uh, uh, that's my official review. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm like reinvigorated for my love for this product. Uh, so this is the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo in Deep Brown. Do you guys remember when I was like on this kick and I used this pencil? It's so it has a pencil on one side and then, which is completely gone. Like I used it to, to the last drop. And then the other side, has this little powder that you like put over whatever pencil work you do. And it's genius because that little, this applicator process of like dipping it in, getting more powder, little spongy thing is genius. It doesn't like spill everywhere. It doesn't get everywhere, but then the powder sets and like locks in your pencil work that you've done and it lasts all day. 
I mean, th I miss this. I want to go buy this right now. I miss this pencil. I was in love with you. I have two empty of the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This is my favorite mascara of life. Uh, I mean, it holds a curl. It's like as much like length, volume, drama, the closest you'll get to wearing false lashes without wearing false lashes. It's incredible. I, I like, I don't feel like this will ever be dethroned. This is my all time favorite mascara. I also have two empties of the It Cosmetics Superhero Liners. Um, so I like this. I don't think this is a must though. It is like a beautiful like brush tip and like something about like the shape of this makes it really easy to hold on to. Um, I kind of fell out with like liquid liner to be honest. I don't do as many dramatic looks as I once did. So uh, I should probably remedy that. But uh, <laughs> I like these. I, I believe I got them on sale. Uh, I wouldn't pay full price for them though. I mean, there are so many good like drugstore, like liquid liners that it's like insane. Um, you don't need to spend this kind of money to get a good liner. That being said, these are really nice. They don't bleed, they stay in place. They're like super jet black. The tip is really easy to use. Like it's a good eyeliner. I just don't think you need to spend that kind of money for it. I hope that makes sense. And then the final thing I have is a duo black uh, brush on. completely dried out and disgusting uh, lash glue adhesive. I hated <laughs> using white lash glue and then like you're trying to sit there with an eyeliner pen and you're trying to like go over it so you can't see the white glue. And it was just, it was just a pain in the butt. And I was like, I gotta learn how to use black lash adhesive because I don't want that. I want it to just dry. And so it's terrifying. And it takes practice because you don't get a second shot. Like you miss it and you've got a black line that just ruined your whole eyeshadow look. Uh, so it takes, this is not like a beginner friendly. <laughs> this is not beginner friendly. It takes some time to get used to using. But it, yeah, I, I have one. It's not even open. I haven't worn false lashes in so long that I don't even have it open. But I know that I have it one in backup because uh, brush on for life. I don't have time to be sitting there like dabbing it out, getting a Q-tip, putting a no, brush on for life. This duo one. I love the duo adhesives. The clear one is a really good one. Like the brush on lash adhesive, if you're looking for one. Keeps the inner corner in all day. Doesn't irritate my eyes. Um, but yeah, I remember the day I was like so proud that I got like these <laughs> with <laughs> black glue and I was like I think uh I think my makeup game just leveled up well thank you so much for hanging out with me going through my trash <laughs> I hope there was something informative or uh you know at least entertaining if you enjoyed this video and you are not yet subscribed I would consider subscribing I don't know I mean I can see how my voice could be annoying, but <laughs> my community is the best community. If you leave a question down below, like I'll definitely get back to you, but like four other people will too, with like really good advice or like really good options. Like, not trying to brag, but my subscribers are the best. I always say that and it sounds so cliche because like everybody says that, but I actually genuinely, like in my heart of hearts, mean it. And a lot of my friends watch my videos, so you're gonna get like a lot of my like actual like people that I love, like I love in my real life coming and like talking to you and it's just, it's, it's awesome. And it's small enough that there's not generally like a bunch of trolls, just like nagging people and causing problems. And it's, it's if you wanna spend more time with me, I'm on social media, like all of them, I'm not, like I have a TikTok, like I created the account. I haven't made a TikTok video yet. Um, mostly I'm on Instagram and my Facebook page, at The Beauty Saga, all social media. Uh, if you wanna follow me on TikTok, I mean, I might start. I mean, anything's possible. It's 2023, it's a new me, right? <laughs> but my primary focus is YouTube and like creating content here. And I do love taking some pictures for the gram, but my heart is here. 
Don't forget to leave your New Year's resolution down in the comments for me. Um, any video suggestions, any anything. I want to hear it. I want to read it. I want to see it. I'm rambling. It's because I don't want to go because I love being here. Um, no, like it's 2023. There's nothing to be sad about. It's not like I'm saying goodbye forever. <laughs> so until the next time, stay really safe wherever you are. And I really hope that you have a good day or night. And uh, a lot, darlings. What is with the finger? What am I doing? Like, can I just be like a normal person? <laughs>